Today, the Indiana Supreme Court's Chief Justice delivered the year's State of the Judiciary Address, and it provides an annual update on our courts. Yeah, it comes just over a week before the court hears one of its most high-profile cases, a challenge to the near-total abort abortion ban passed last summer by lawmakers. That law is still on hold right now. It would ban abortion in Indiana at all stages of pregnancy, except in cases of rape and incest up to 10 weeks post fertilization risk to the mother's health or lethal fetal anomaly. Fox 59's Kristen Eskow shows us what we can expect from the Supreme Court next week. Indiana Supreme Court Chief Justice Loretta Rush says roughly 2.5 million cases are pending across Indiana's courts. One of those most high profile cases is set to be heard by the state Supreme Court next week. Your judiciary is stronger than ever. Chief Justice Loretta Rush delivers Indiana's annual State of the Judiciary Address at the start of a new year for Indiana's courts. Rush didn't discuss any specific cases in her address, but 2023 is starting off with one of the Indiana Supreme Court's most high-profile cases in recent history, a challenge to Indiana's near-total ban on abortion, which was passed last summer by the legislature's Republican supermajority. All five state Supreme Court justices who will hear the case were appointed by Republican governors. It was a Republican Owen County judge who put a temporary hold on the law in September. IU Law Professor Jody Madeira. I think it's hard to predict how they're going to rule. When you look at how liberty and autonomy evolve, that includes a right to privacy that encompasses a right to abortion. The case being heard next week alleges a right to privacy violation under the Indiana Constitution. Republican legislative leaders have said they don't expect new abortion legislation to move forward this session. Here's what Senate President Pro Tem Rod Bray told me in November. We worked super hard on that over the summer and uh, uh, not dying to go back there. Bray also argued it wouldn't be wise for lawmakers to proceed with any changes to the law before the ruling. State lawmakers remain deeply divided on the issue. If um, the Supreme Court does not strike it down, we will continue to oppose the law that's on the books today. A very extreme ban that's not good for women and families. I'm passionately pro-life, so hopefully we'll move forward and we'll see what the Supreme Court does. Meanwhile, another preliminary injunction was issued back in December after a lawsuit was filed alleging the near total abortion ban violates Indiana's religious freedom law. That's a separate case from the lawsuit being heard next week in the state Supreme Court. At the State House, Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you.